Hello everyone, I'm Zhi Lu from the City University of Hong Kong. Today I'm presenting our paper, Stream Sketch, Exploring Multimodal Interactions in Creative Live Streams. With the proliferation of live streaming services, many artists and designers adopt live streaming to showcase their creative process. However, viewer interactions in most existing live streaming services are confined to text chat and emojis. In our research, we are interested in supporting richer viewer-streamer interaction in creative live streams and understanding their current challenges. So creative live streams are mostly seen on platforms such as Twitch and YouTube Live. Twitch enables streamers to use Twitch extensions to enrich the ways in which viewers can interact with them. These extensions are widgets, panels, or overlays that are developed by streamers, viewers, developers, and companies. To better understand how viewers currently interact with streamers using modalities beyond text commenting, we reviewed a set of 111 existing Twitch extensions designed for viewer engagement. Our analysis identified three categories of Twitch extensions designed for viewer engagement. Graphic symbols, which uh, used predefined graphic symbols, such as emotes, GIFs, emoticons, and stickers. They are often predefined, so they're not flexible. Interactive overlays, which make certain part of the live video clickable and because they're often designed in a case-by-case -case basis they are also not very expressive collaborative interaction space which enables viewers to collaboratively create art on a separate canvas besides the live stream it is not easy for users to keep track of the live stream so they they are easy to lose contact of the live stream. So we identified several key dimensions in this design space, including flexibility, expressiveness, agency, and context. To further understand the potential of supporting multimodal interaction in creative live streams, we interviewed four professional creative live streamers, and we have four key findings. Visual input is preferred over text-only chat for engaging viewers. The streamers also want to create a real-time space for sharing ideas and feedback. Understanding the context of viewer comments is hard, and they also want to make sense of viewer-contributed content and feedback. So based on this key findings of formative studies, we proposed three design goals. The first is to support freeform sketching for richer expression and interactivity during live streams. Second, to provide spatial and temporal contextual information. Third, to facilitate the navigation and exploration of multimodal interaction. Based on the findings from the formative study and the analysis of existing Twitch extensions, Stream Sketch was designed to support creative live streamers in engaging viewers using two modalities, Sketch and Text. Let's see a live demo of Stream Sketch. It consists, it consists of three main components, a video player that shows the live video with the canvas overlaid on it and a comment window that shows all the text and sketch sent from viewers, and a visualization which shows keywords and sketches in an aggregated way. When a viewer wants to use visual input to give suggestions or express themselves, they can click and drag the mouse on the live stream video to sketch. And before ready to submit the sketch, she can give the sketch some tags or provide more detailed descriptions for the sketch in the pop-up window after submitted 
the sketch will be shown to every viewer and streamers on top of the live video and at the same position for 6 seconds. And when the viewer draws something that is highly relevant to the video, she can click the capture the screen button to save the video frame for getting the context later. This also helps when the video is changing rapidly because you can capture the video and start drawing on a static image. Viewers can also submit a comment which is located at the point on the video. She can click the comment on the video button and then click at a point on the video and type in the pop-up window. The video snapshot will be automatically saved when comment is submitted. And the comments window enables users to get contextual information. She can use mouse to hover over sketch or text comment sent on the video to review it on the video and also review the screenshot. And when a viewer would like to build on other viewers' drawings, she can fork existing drawings by clicking on the plus button shown besides an existing drawing when the cursor hovers over it. Then the existing drawing shows up on top of the video and the user can start her own drawing. To further provide an overview of multimodal uh, chat conversation, StreamSketch shows a hybrid cloud visualization below the video to show keywords of viewer comments and relevant sketch. The keywords in the hybrid cloud can be used to filter the comments window by keyword. And with the mouse cursor hovers over a keyword in the visualization, the text chat and sketches in the comments window will be filtered. Only showing the text chat and keyword and sketches whose de descriptions contain the keyword. And the user can further ping the filter by clicking on the keyword in the visualization or cancel the filter by clicking the cancel button. When a user clicks on the tag in the comments window, the sketches and text comments will be filtered by the selected tag. And filter on keyword and filter on tag can be combined together to look for specific information. We evaluated the system with two professional Twitch creative live streamers and their viewers in six live stream sessions. And the themes of the sessions include drawing together and character design. We identified a variety of ways in which sketches were used by the viewers. Generally speaking, sketches were mostly used for suggestions or feedback, self-expression, and collaborative art creation. Here are some examples of um, self-expression. For example, A, a diving suit which the streamer could use as a costume. And C, the user draws a bubble tea to treat the streamer. And D shows a figure which links on the character in the stream. Overall, stream sketch enabled viewers to interact with streamers and viewers in an engaging way and supported their creative activities and idea sharing during live streams. They also mentioned that providing detailed text descriptions of sketch enhances communication. We also found some drawbacks. The most significant one is the low throughput. It took viewers on average 72, 72 seconds to finish and submit a sketch. And the low pace nature of creative live streaming makes it more acceptable. Streamers in general also like stream sketch, saying that it increased interactivity through multimodal viewer input and they can know their viewers more because personality is often embedded in the sketch. Filtering also supports sense making, but they also mention moderation and tool integration remain challenging. So we further provide implications for live streaming platforms, including um, modalities of context, sketching uh, should be made more timely, and moderation of multimodal messages. With that, I conclude my talk, and I want to thank all the co-authors for their support. Thank you very much.